Today we're going to make a wine bar out of copper and marble. I'm going to use half inch copper pipe. Now I use type M because it's a little bit cheaper than type L. I'm going to cut the copper with my rigid brand tubing cutter. I will put the measurements for the pieces on my website. I'm also going to buy it in 10 foot lengths because this tends to be cheaper than the 5 foot lengths. I've experimented with a few different types of glues and epoxies for connecting copper pipes and I find that Gorilla Glue works really well. I applied the glue into the fittings and then I used a wet rag to moisten the pipes a little bit with water before sticking them in. Gorilla Glue foams up a little bit when it comes in contact with moisture, which results in a nice, tight fit. Once the glue had fully dried, I used an X-Acto knife to chip away the excess that had foamed out through the joints. I waited until all the straight pieces of pipe were fully glued together before trying to assemble the entire bar. I assembled the side panels, rotated them up, and then inserted on the end pieces. I'm going to use a 12 inch by 24 inch stone tile from Home Depot to make the top of this bar. The stone was a little bit too glossy for my taste, so I sanded it down with my orbital sander and 150 grit paper. I also rounded over the corners a little bit so that it would match the nice curves of the copper. Even just a few minutes of sanding gives it a nice matte finish. I use steel wool to polish the copper and make it nice and shiny. I placed the copper onto the marble, added a handful of pipe straps, and then hot glued these to the marble. I then added a liberal amount of construction adhesive right in between the copper and the marble. The hot glue is just to keep things from moving while the construction adhesive cures. I designed the structure so that it would hold both wine glasses and bottles, but you certainly could just use it as a side table. But let's not kid ourselves, you're going to use it for wine. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, bye.